Greetings fellow Clashers, thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with Clash of Clans Attacks. I am your host Galadon, and yes today we are talking about the ugliest number in Clash of Clans, none other than the dreaded 49. Nothing is worse than being on the attack and getting stuck one percentage point from victory, and come on, you have to admit, when you're defending and you see that attacker get stuck at 49%, you have to just feel a little bit bad for them. And speaking of which, let's get right into the replays, and none other than the Galatrap is up first, and that attacker there from that clan is coming at me with mostly barbarians and archers, just a few wall breakers, a couple of wizards, 30-something heroes, and only four spells, and that may come back to haunt him. As might the big bombs at the bottom of your screen taking out about a dozen or so archers. And uh, now the clan castle is getting deployed. The queen is already in action because the uh, heroes are deployed pretty close to the edge here in this base layout. So they can get involved early, and uh, he is still working on trying to take care of that clan castle. Very patiently dropping barbarians and archers individually at the edges of the map, trying to draw out all of those units, especially those two critical trailing witches, as they are continuing to spawn skeletons. And now he has got them in, formed into a pretty tight group, and so I'm anticipating the lightning spell. There it is. I'm always rooting for the witches. Please survive. Make it through that lightning spell. And sure enough, at least one does. And so now he is going to have to waste a few additional troops to try to finish off the clan castle. He saves another lightning spell here, just drops some barbarians and archers in the middle eventually they do finish off the cc troops and he can begin the rest of his attack units moving in from the bottom and right away a big bomb goes into action wipes out an entire pack of barbarians and archers and that is certainly going to hurt this attack Barching at champion level is difficult. I have to give credit to those who do it successfully. It has got to be a very nerve-wracking attack just trying to get that 50%. And you can see here he's working on the exterior structures around the base. 24% damage and then I notice he has exhausted his reserves of barbarians and archers. The final portion of the attack is coming from the left side of your screen. Clan Castle Golem, King and the Queen drop down. There is the Rage spell. And that is going to help those wall breakers open up those walls, but the king has already moved outside of the effective radius. The queen only going to use it long enough to get the gold storage and the wizard tower out of the way, and now she's not using it either. My defending king snaps into action, goes after the queen. She's going to have to use her royal cloak right here to stay alive. She does long enough to get those units to take out my defending king, but again, not a whole lot of units left. Lots of defenses working on the queen in that last golemite. We've got 44% damage. Damage. There is the king at the very top of your screen, and he is about to go down himself. 45% damage. The king is down. There is the last of the units. Two lightning spells remain, and 45% damage. He's got to get 5% with just two lightning spells, and it's hard to tell. We know where some 1% buildings are, but luckily I don't have multiple 1% buildings that can fall victim to a lightning spell next to each other. So now he's just got to try to remember uh, maybe some of these other structures were damaged. There goes one lightning spell on the king's home. Gets him an extra percentage point, and now it really looks bad. 4%. He gets two buildings at the top of the screen. Good for 3%, but he's stuck at 49, and the Galatrap earns 19 trophies. Now for our next attack replay, we've got a recent defense by ISA Kyle 20 in a clan war between Lost Phoenix and Golden 007. Maximize bringing the five golem attack against Kyle. Kyle with an unusual lopsided troll style village. And this is kind of an unusual twist to the five golem. Maximize drops the first golem and just a few wizards at the top right of your screen by themselves. All of those defenses going to work along with that Lava Hound, taking out the Golemites, finishing them off. The last wizard just gets through that gold mine, and now here is the twist. Maximize, rather than continuing the attack from the top right, as you can see the Lava Hound sprinting towards the bottom of your screen. You've got a couple of archers working on unprotected structures. The Spell Factory, that one camp, not protected by anything. So they're going to try to get through and just get a couple of extra percentage points. And now once the Lava Hound finishes off this archer, here comes the rest of the attack, the remaining golems, four golems at the bottom of your screen, moving in from a different direction from the initial attack. Didn't make a lot of sense to me. Level 40 heroes moving in as well, a rage spell accelerating them in. The queen not quite within it. There goes the lava hound finally going down, really holding off some of those wizards for a long time. The golems moving into the enclosure. Wallbreakers not going to what was probably the intended wall, 
freeze spell slowing things down a bit and now the wizards and the queen have moved off to the right to the other open enclosures not a good sign for this attack they're moving away from the uh, town hall and now the king banging on one wall the rest of the units off way off to the right 38% damage. We've got Breach through the bottom, through the Town Hall enclosure, but a big bomb goes off, wipes out that last wizard. Now we've got Skeleton Trap, Lightning Spell on the Skeleton Trap, everybody moving in closer and closer to the Town Hall. The Defending King has gone into action, 45% damage. You can tell this is going to be a close one. The Queen's still almost at full health, but quickly all of the defenses focus on her, including the single targeting Inferno. Royal Cloak saves her momentarily. She's going to take out a couple more structures. It'll be the Queen against the Expo for 50%, and the Expo survives. The Queen expires just before the Expo goes down 49% and maximize with four archers. Four archers to try to get through just one more structure, testing out, trying to find a structure that is outside the range of any defenses. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. The camp is the only shot. The camp just barely covered by the archer tower and maximize, forced to walk away, stuck at 49% damage, empty-handed in this clan war attack. But keeping fairness in mind, I'd like to show attack and defense wins and fails from both sides. And here we have none other than our own Skydiver CP from Lost Phoenix from the same clan war against Golden 007. Sky has brought Go Wee Wee and he's coming from the left side of this village, which seems like a wise choice because we've got a single targeting Inferno right there. And this is going to be a no jump go wee wee, so Sky has brought a lot of wall breakers. They've opened up several different enclosures. The golems are moving towards separate defenses, so that is a good sign. Here comes the rage spell. Great rage spell placement, accelerating not only the wall breakers, but the wizards and witches as well. Free spell on the Inferno Tower, the Expo, the Clan Castle troops are moving out. There is the lightning spell, hoping to get both of those witches. Doesn't get the second one. Now, I like the second freeze spell. Not only does it freeze the last witch, three defenses, it also freezes the very dangerous level 40 defending Archer Queen. Sky with much lower level heroes moving in now, and his units almost completely take out that queen before she unfreezes. It looks like a slight misstep with the rage spell, but his queen is just going to stand on the very fringe of that rage spell radius and take out the town hall. Slowly but surely working on that town hall, eventually it will go down. There is the first star, but unfortunately only 39% damage. The skeleton moving in on the queen there. He's going to have to pop her royal cloak to battle those off. Now he's got the Inferno Tower and two Expos working on the queen. She moves in just another structure and she goes down 41% damage. But Sky has several units left. He's got four wizards, some archers, and a barbarian. At the bottom of your screen, both of those elixir pumps unprotected now. So that's at least two extra percentage points. And no doubt at this point, Sky is surveying the area, trying to find those unprotected structures. There is a dark barracks at the top, good for another percentage point or two. And he's just going to very patiently wait here as he examines the edges of this village, wait to see how many percentage points, because as you may know, some of these buildings will sometimes be 1%, sometimes they will be 2 42% as the dark barracks goes down, 44, 2% for that pump. 45, 1% for the next pump. They're not going to quite get the spell factory down. It is almost down. Not many hit points left. So now four wizards, two archers, and a barbarian. He's got to try to get five more percentage points. He drops a few units together here at the bottom right. Looks like they might be able to get through some structures. So close. The gold mine goes down. The barracks doesn't quite go down. We're now at 46%. One archer, can she do it? No. One more archer, that is going to be in time. She gets the next structure down, 47%. Two wizards left. He's got to get three percentage points, and this is tough. He's going to drop them at the bottom of the screen. They take out that spell factory, a two percentage point building that time, and that is 49%. And now, very carefully, time is actually running down. This is the true attack timer here, counting down less than 10 seconds left. Where will he put this last unit? Where will he try to see if that wizard can get it? It's going to be at the top of the screen, and then time runs out. Time runs out, 49%. We'll never know if that wizard would have gotten through that barracks or not. Tough, tough 49% one-star war attack. So these close calls, always a lot of fun to watch. Even more fun now as we can watch our own village be attacked live. Thank you guys again for watching. Please do be sure to check out the other videos. Watch Peter winning the game one more time. Let me know what you guys are looking forward to in 2015 and what you would like to see from this channel. And I will see you guys again tomorrow 
with more full attacks. Galidon, lightning on the gym box should be worth at least 